behaving like any other businessman in a highly competitive industry. He's trying to sell as much as he can at the lowest possible prices, and to do that he has to pay as little as he can get away with. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with pile them high and sell them cheap, and there's nothing wrong with shoppers getting a bargain, but I think it's really keen that that's not done um, through exploitation of workers. And so one of the things that we want to hear from Mr Ashley, we're looking at a wider point that we will explore throughout the course of this Parliament about what it's like to work in Britain in 2016. What's the nature of employment are we going down a road of greater insecurity zero hours to uh, contracts where people don't really know where they are from one week to the next and we want his advice on that is the balance right between rights for the worker and rights for the boss where do we need to go in a what as you say a very competitive environment whilst at the same time ensuring that there's no exploitation jeremy baker what's your answer to that uh, well, I th there's a lot of the danger to what Ian Wright is saying. Uh, the danger is the French system in which uh, you get full middle class benefits right from day one when you start. And um, the, it, but you don't give full value to the employer. So that's the situation. The employer, therefore, doesn't hire so many people. And you get high youth unemployment and you get a lot of jobs on the black. In other words, uh, kind of in the parallel economy. But if they'd been working with you for more than, I don't know what a, an appropriate period would be, three months, six months, whatever it happens to be, then surely you should have the benefits everybody else has. Uh, no, at some point you work your way up. And that's the defense of Mike, actually. You start and you've got no skills, you get a job, you learn industrial skills, um, and then you can leave and get a job uh, in the normal middle class way uh, with rewards. But you, Ian Wright has got to allow people to start in the, at the bottom of the job ladder. What, what, what's the normal middle class way? What's that mean? Uh, I mean, rewards um, being treated well, uh, full normal Well, everybody pay. should be treated well, whether middle class or whatever, shouldn't they? No, I, well, um, there you are, you see. You're, you're being idealistic and you're human. <laughs> no, why don't you just say you don't mind the French system? You don't mind youth being unemployed? No, no, I'm just suggesting to you, I'm not, obviously I don't have opinions on these matters, not allowed, to, but, but I'm just making the point that everybody should be treated like a human being. I mean, uh, uh, well, at the bottom of the job market, you went to, well, let's say my children, they, they did internships, they weren't paid and they made coffee. All right, it's fine. So I was happy, they were happy, because they were starting at the bottom of the job ladder. That's what you've got to allow. And if you don't have a system for the bottom of the job ladder, the entry-level job, then you're going to get unemployment. Uh, so Ian Wright is caught between these two desires, the desire to respect humanity. Okay, tick, I'm in, you know, I'm in education, obviously. I agree. You say Ian Wright, you mean Mike Ashley? No, well, I mean, uh, Ian Wright looking at the... When, when he, okay, uh, you know, looking at the balance the committee, Brit when he is looking at what is in front of him, when Britain's, he... Is, Britain's yep. employment situation, yeah. All right, I, so I take it. So it'd be easy thing for Ian Wright to say, look, Mike, actually, you're a complete blank, 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 and cruel, um, you've got to improve. I understand that. Is that... Yeah, go on. Let, well, let's ask him whether he is that that's what he's doing. Are you, Mr Wright? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, and I believe uh, passionately in the notion of starting off and working your way up. I think that social and economic aspiration is absolutely what we were doing. But Britain in 2016, do we want to see a return to Victorian um, working practices where the mill owner, you know, throws coins down and, and says, scrabble over, over that the for top, workers? Isn't it? Well, well, but that's the... What's the structure of our economic model? This is a fundamental point that we will be be touching upon today but exploring it throughout the course of the parliament do we want to go through that low cheap labor model or do we want to have that much higher value added where you've got skills you've got an education system that provides those skills and that we can improve our productivity i'd prefer the latter if i'm honest yeah but what professor baker's saying is you start at the bottom. you've acknowledged this you start at the bottom and when you've proved your worth to your employer then um, you, you, know, you move up absolutely nothing wrong with that but at the same time i don't believe in exploiting and I would want to see dignity of every worker regardless of the pay that they're on. And that's the question, isn't it, Professor Baker, whether these people who work for Sports Direct are being treated with dignity. Yes. That's a very important yes. aspect of it, isn't I, it? All right. I'm in education. I believe in dignity. I believe in people getting qualifications and making more money, obviously. At the same time, we've got to acknowledge there's a global labour force out there. They're coming in. They've got less expectation. 
in the whole of North Africa, there's a lot of people who want to come and work in Europe. Uh, they don't have that middle class aspiration. They're willing to work in a very basic way. So we're prepared to exploit them. Well, it's OK to exploit them. Uh, yeah, that's a horrible word, exploit. Mm. Uh, but there's no, element, as if what, no, no, there's an element of truth in it. I accept. Uh, and if we're going to compete against all the countries which are exploiting people, uh, then we've got to... Exploit ourselves. ...form a new way forward. And it's, it is, it's awkward. And I don't want Ian Wright to uh, get, come all out for decency and middle-class values without seeing the cost in a global economy. Right, quick final thought on that, Ian Wright. Um, as I said, I don't think anybody should go to work and be exploited. I think there should be dignity and I think there should be appropriate working conditions that people have fought long and hard for for centuries and we want to see whether that's applying in Sports Direct. And right. there's a wider point about what employment looks like across the economy now.